it's me the girl that said that she wasn't going to be buying any more books for the time being yet here i am about to head to barnes and noble i can't really say that i have a valid excuse aside from the fact that i want to go to the bookstore and pick up some new books to read my physical tbr has been dwindling and the books that i have left to read are just not appealing to me if i'm being honest so i need some new books to help me get in the mood to read because right now i just haven't been in the mood to read the books that i already own so we're gonna head to barnes and noble to get some new books <laughs> also this just works out perfectly because we're actually going to go watch john wick 4 and the movie theater is literally across the street from barnes and noble so i can't waste an opportunity to go to barnes and noble like i have to go to barnes and noble if i'm going to be in the area of one you know i'm actually really excited for this barnes and noble trip because i normally go like first thing in the morning but but since we're catching a movie which is like three hours long we won't be going to Barnes & Noble until like 6 30 7 o'clock at night and I've actually haven't been to a Barnes & Noble like late at night I mean 7 is not late but you guys know what I mean I just feel like it'll be a cozy vibe as the sun is setting we're gonna go catch John Wick and we'll meet you guys at the bookstore let's go this lighting is good because if not i'm going to be really upset while editing <laughs> but we are back from the bookstore also we did watch john wick 4 and it was great if you haven't watched it go watch it go watch it if you like action movies if you don't like action movies then john wick isn't for you but my husband and i really enjoyed it then we went to barnes and noble and let me tell you guys my cat is being a very bad girl right now can you please get off that thank you honestly going to barnes and noble at like 6 37 is such a vibe because it was pretty empty normally i go to barnes and noble like first thing in the morning and it's still quite busy which kind of makes it difficult to film and awkward but this time around the barnes and noble that i go to was actually pretty empty and it was super quiet quiet in there very relaxing such a cozy vibe so i think i'm going to start going to barnes and noble late at night because i just think it's way better than going in the morning when everyone and their mother is also there <laughs> especially at this new location it's a lot smaller than the previous one that i used to go to and there's not a lot of seating area or a lot of areas for me to like prop up my camera and film which again can be really awkward <laughs> so definitely gonna start going to the bookstore at night more often i feel like that would be really fun also, if you hear boiling water in the background, I'm about to make mashed potatoes. I have water boiling on the stove. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys can't really hear that. This first book that I picked up today is probably going to come as a shocker to a lot of you guys.
guys who have been watching my channel for a hot minute because last year I specifically said I was not going to pick up any books from this specific author just because her books don't appeal to me at all like I always read the back cover of her books and I'm just like meh like they don't intrigue me enough to buy them but today I decided to get out of my comfort zone a bit and to give this author a chance for the first time and the book is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I cannot believe I'm holding a Taylor Jenkins Reid book right now. No offense to the author, I have no issues with this author at all. Her books simply just don't appeal to me, so I never felt the need to pick them up. But since this book actually has its own show on Amazon Prime now and everyone keeps talking about it, I decided to finally give this book a chance to see what it's actually giving. By the time I finish this book, it might be a five-star read for me. I don't know, we shall see, but I'm going to give it a chance. <laughs> Daisy is a girl coming of age in LA in the late 60s, sneaking into clubs on the Sunset Strip, sleeping with rock stars, and dreaming of singing at the Whiskey A Go Go. Her voice is getting noticed, and she has the kind of heedless beauty that makes people do crazy things. Also getting noticed is The Six, a band led by the brooding Billy Dunn. On the eve of their first tour, his girlfriend Camila finds out she's pregnant, and with the pressure of impending fatherhood and fame, Billy goes a little wild on the road. Daisy and Billy cross paths when a producer realizes that the key to supercharged success is to put the two together. What happens next will become the stuff of legend. Again, not really sure what to expect with this. I know that a lot of people love it. Hopefully I become one of those people, but we shall find out. The next book that I want to read is Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I have already read two of Alice Feeney's books. The first one was Daisy Darker, which I absolutely love. The second was Sometimes I Lie. Didn't really like that one all that much, to be honest, but I've heard a lot of good things about this specific book. I think this is one of her more popular books and so many of you guys have recommended this book to me so I decided to finally pick it up today and give it a shot. I really hope it's good. I really hope it has me at the edge of my seat because I'm in need of a good thriller in my life. It goes, things have been wrong with Mr. and Mrs. Wright for a long time. Every anniversary the couple exchange traditional gifts and Adam's wife writes him a letter she never lets him read. Strange. Until now. Self-confessed work workaholic Adam has faced blindness. He can't even recognize his own wife. And Amelia is sick of feeling unseen. When Adam and Amelia went a weekend away to Scotland, it might be just what their marriage needs. This weekend may make or break their marriage, but they didn't randomly win this trip. One of them is lying and someone doesn't want them to live happily ever after. 10 years of marriage, 10 years of secrets, and an anniversary they will never forget. This sounds like it's going to have me at the edge of my seat, so hopefully it does. I find that with Alice B these books I can never like predict the ending or the big twist which I love nothing pisses me off more with the thriller when it's super predictable from the two books that I've read from her I haven't been able to predict the ending or the big twist so really excited to start this book and hopefully it's good again so many of you guys have recommended that book to me the next book that I picked up is the first book in the twisted love series this one has also been highly recommended on my channel and I just never got around to reading it but I saw it at Barnes and Noble today and I was like you know what let me pick it up and let me give it a chance because I am in need of a good romance book. Alex is a devil blessed with the face of an angel and cursed with a past he can't escape. Driven by a tragedy that has haunted him for most of his life his ruthless pursuits for success and vengeance leave little room for matters of the heart but when he's forced to look after his best friend's sister he starts to feel something in his chest. A crack a melt, a fire that could easily end his world as he knew it. Ava is a free spirit trapped by nightmares of a childhood she can't remember. But despite her broken past, she's never stopped seeing the beauty in the world, including the heart beneath the icy exterior of a man she shouldn't want. Her brother's best friend, her neighbor, her savior, and her downfall. Theirs is a love that was never supposed to happen, but when it does, it unleashes secrets that could destroy them both and everything they hold Dear. I feel like this book is going to throw me in for such a roller coaster ride and I am ready for it. <laughs> also, the cover is so cute. I almost bought the entire series at Barnes and Noble today because all four covers are just so pretty and I think they will look really cute on my bookshelf placed together. But yeah, really excited to start that one and hopefully it's good because again, I need a really good romance book to captivate my attention, to make me fall in love with the characters, to make me 
me think about it for literally days after I finished the book. I haven't read a really, really, really good romance book in a hot minute. So hopefully that one lives up to the hype. The next book that I picked up was Red Queen by Victoria Avidyard. This is a young adult fantasy. I've literally seen this book everywhere. I just have not picked it up mainly because it is YA and after I read the Folk of the Air series which is also a YA fantasy series I kind of was put off from reading any more YA fantasies but since this one is super popular and the premise actually sounded appealing to me I decided to pick it up today and I'm actually really excited to start it because I've also been in need of a good fantasy series. I haven't read a fantasy series that I absolutely loved since a of thorns and roses so hopefully this is my next favorite fantasy series we shall find out it goes mayor's world is divided by blood those with red and those with silver mayor and her family are lowly res destined to serve the silver elite whose supernatural abilities make them nearly gods. when mayor accidentally discovers a power of her own she didn't know she had silver king is forced to hide the impossibility of her power and pretend she's a long lost silver princess betrothed to one of his sons. Soon Mare is drawn into the silver world where loyalty and desire can tear you apart and the only certainty is betrayal. And before long, her actions put into motion a deadly and violent dance, pitting prince against prince and Mare against her own heart. I'm getting like a love triangle. Is that what's going to happen in this book? Let me know if you guys have read this book or any of the books that I purchased today. What were your thoughts? Do you think they actually live up to the hype that they get online? I would love to know your opinion. <laughs> also, if you have any good book recommendations for me, leave them in the comments below. You guys know that I absolutely love your book recs and even though it may take me a while, I eventually try to pick up your book recommendations and read them. Really excited to start these four Four books and I'll let you guys know of course my thoughts on it during my monthly reading wrap-ups but that is pretty much it for today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe I would love to have you a part of my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys